Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and today we're going to be playing the Reliable Partner uh, Tournament. This is going to be a guide on how to play the Reliable Partner. Uh, I think I made a guide about two years ago, but uh, it, of course it's going to be outdated. So here's another one. Of course, as you guys know, the Reliable Partner Tournament means you have a partner that's very reliable. And the only reliable partner is an AI partner. So here's your AI partner. Uh, you get one and so does your enemy. The point of this match is to destroy your enemy. Uh, your partner will help you out here and there. Now, my partner is green because my enemy is yellow. If it was uh, opposite factions, like I was up against the confederation, my ally would be yellow. But yeah, as you guys can see, the enemy is also resistance. This is my enemy's uh, ally. In this map, look at the mini map. Uh, if you spawn here, uh, wait, I can't draw there. Okay, okay, now I can. Okay, if you draw, a, a, oh, for some reason I can't go there. Anyways, if you spawn up here, then your enemy will spawn there. And if you're, if you spawn there, that means your ally spawns here or here. But the, but the ally, the bots, are always diagonal from each other, and uh, you are also diagonal from your enemy. The humans are diagonal each other, and the so are the allies, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, it's a little goofy the way my, uh, my drawing thing didn't drop there, but uh, can only work with what you've got. Well, we're scouting yellow, which is the human enemy. And yellow's got a few coyotes. We can see that yellow's got a couple coyotes and a bunch of riflemen at the middle. And we're able to deal some damage here and there. But it's not enough. But uh, we now have our Levi uh, not a Leviathan, uh, Wasp. Wasp is out, acid corroded the armor, and we're able to go through the flag much more quicker. We got some more troops coming in. The bigger container is ours. Now in this match, there will be a bigger container spawning in the middle, and you should generally go for those. In this reliable partner tournament, the enemy AI and your AI will always duke it out in the middle. The battles will always happen here. Uh, and in this particular map, the enemy AI comes on this ramp and your AI comes on that ramp. These two ramps are never used, so the battle in, uh, pursues on that line. So, if you want to really ambush the enemy AI, and you spawn in where I spawned in, you should generally have your army situated here so you can attack any troops coming uh, from there. And uh, we got the bigger container, so that's nice. Remember, the, uh, the allies only attack the middle point, uh, and once they're done with that, the ally will either go for your human enemy or the allied enemy the enemy ally the objective of this battle is to destroy the human but crippling the ally is also very useful as you guys can see right now i'm going to help my ally destroy my enemy's ai i have the wasp we're just waiting for the acid to recharge if we can get an acid strike then that'll be nice Come on, acid, acid, just deploy the acid and go back. And of course, it's a nice little battle. Doing this will set the enemy's AI back by a little bit. Not by that much, but it will set them back by a little bit, so doing it is... Uh, it's not a bad idea. Because as you guys, you you may know or, or you may not know, but the AIs always make waves of units. Uh, the first wave usually has two coyotes, I think. And then it goes up to like three coyotes, four coyotes. Wait, no, 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 my bad, my bad. The first wave generally has like six coyotes. Two fortresses for the confederation but six coyotes. 
and then the second wave is like six coyotes and a few infantry units. Then the third wave, the third wave will have like porcupine anti-air and some armadillos. And then the fourth wave will have like jaguars and mammoths. And then the fifth wave and so forth. But the AIs will never have chameleons or anything of that tier. They'll only stop at like uh, mammoth tier three stuff, pretty much like mammoth, porcupine anti-air, jaguar tanks, uh, stuff of that sort. Now in Star League, the league that I play in, humans are much more quicker than these AIs. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm getting chameleons out already, while my AI is still making coyotes and infantry. So the, the AIs aren't going to be that strong in Star League, but if you're in another league so that's like somewhat lower, then I assume the AI will be so much stronger. Well, I don't assume because I do. My confederation rank is like rank 14. Uh, so yeah, the AIs at lower ranks will be slightly stronger. At Star League, it's really not that strong, to be honest. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna go for Leviathan and some chameleons. As you guys can see, my AI, my AI ally goes up through this ramp, and it looks like my enemy has a bunch of troops in the middle. A lot of infantry units, a lot of jaguars and porcupines, snipers. That's a lot of porcupines too. I counted like six or seven. Okay, purple is doing a nice little attack with the coyotes. And while this is happening, it looks like the the human enemy is attacking me, my opponent. Acid strike on a barracks and a power plant, interesting. I'm gonna move my leviathan here and uh, use a nuke. And it looks like all of the enemy units are crowded in one spot, perfect for a nuclear strike. My, my enemy also has some hawks. Interesting. But remember, I do have chame, uh, chameleon, so hawks aren't really going to be that big of a problem. And so we... I think we destroyed Yellow's entire army so we can go to the middle of the map. And not just that, but we can also go towards the enemy. And yeah, let's attack the enemy. I mean, that attack that ensued here, I don't think that was a good attack. That was a tactically horrible attack. The Jaguars were all clumped up and they took some heavy damage from the nuke. It was not a good idea. I'm gonna use a second nuke. Hawks are up into the air, but I have porcupine anti-air, so I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. Looks like they're microing to destroy the Leviathan. The anti-air may be weak, but in some situations, it is pretty helpful. I have my porcupines uh, camping right here, uh, so if any air unit exits the Avia factory, they'll be met with some anti-air. And of course, we're gonna send in some more troops and everything. Looks like my my ally is going in for another attack. But my enemy is almost destroyed, so even even though this attack is happening, um, 
Honestly, we could support the AI with a chameleon. Because, of course, chameleons do hide allied units. So that might be a pretty good tactic, to be honest. Well, the enemy is destroyed, so victory is ours.